Hi, my name is Eric Torkia. I'm the executive partner and analytics practice lead at Technology Partners Limited. Welcome to the Excel Simulation Showdown, part two. Today's topic, distribution fitting. So distribution fitting is the process of taking historical data and using algorithms to approximate what the shape or the parameters of a distribution would be that would replicate that set of data. The packages that the entry level packages from each vendor that offer this are Oracle Crystal Ball Standard Edition, Palisade At Risk Professional, Vose Model Risk Professional, and Risk Solver Pro by Frontline. We are going to look at over here. So we're going to look at the number of steps to fit a distribution, the ability to fit a large data set text file import, number of fitting methods, method triangulation, and the ability to save and share distributions. As we said earlier, uh, the price for these packages, so to be able to do distribution fitting, uh, you're looking to spend uh, north of $1,000, so 1215 with Crystal Ball and 1500 with these other guys over here. First up is Crystal Ball. So um, stay tuned, and if you have any questions or want to give us your feedback, as usual, etorkia, E-T-O-R-K-I-A, at technologypartnerswithaz.com. Thanks. Welcome back. Here we are with Oracle Crystal Ball Standard Edition, and we are going to attempt to fit a univariate distribution. The first thing that we'll do is we'll kind of present our model. So over here, we generated using Crystal Ball's log normal distribution, 50 trials, that we so 50 replicates over here. And over here, using a gamma distribution, so with a shape of two and a scale, of 1500, we have generated 150,000 trials over here. So, just to make the point that we're not 15, 150,000 trials. So, first up, let's try and see, let's see if we can fit our log normal distribution. So, we're going to put that over here, go into the crystal ball define assumption menu, and we are going to fit. We are going to select the range. And hit OK. And next up, we're going to take an opportunity to go through the other elements of this box. If we had a text file, a flat file that had been exported by a system, we would be able to load that file and use that to fit. Uh, otherwise, when we're doing the fitting, we have these in this other box, the various types of distributions that we're looking to fit. So all continuous, all discrete. So this has an impact on the algorithms that it's going to use to do the fitting. It can do, it can choose. So you can choose which distributions you'd like. Over here, we have the goodness of fit statistics. So we have chi-square, Kolmorov-Smirnov, which is somewhat similar to chi-square, but is a little more appropriate for smaller da data sets. And then Anderson Darling, which does a parameter approximation. So here we can lock parameters. So if there are things that we do know about our data, we can lock those in. And we can show all of our goodness of fit statistics. So we're loading it up. And we can see that the data over here is coming up with a beta pert distribution for both Anderson Darling and Kolmorov Smirnov, beta being the next one. And over here we have chi square, which fitted the logistic. So since we only have 50 data points, um, this is a, a fair um, fitting. And if I had to pick, I would use the triangulation of Anderson Darling and KS. However, a oh, note of caution. When fitting distributions using these types of tools, 
it is important to also look up what these distributions imply as behavior. For example, um, certain distributions like the normal uh, are used for errors, where, whereas others might be a time to occurrence or ha um, <clears throat> a number of failures before success. So these are different. So you have to look and see if that kind of makes sense for you. In this case, we're going to accept the beta pert, and it is going to generate the parameters for it, and we're going to call it univariate fit. That's fine. And we have our distribution. So the likeliest here is going to be 12,372. So we'll just write that. 372. Just have something in there. Next cell over here, we are going to fit this data set and see how we do. How many steps. So by the way, for the first process, what we calculate is, is six steps. Now the ability to fit a large data set. So 150,000 is not a huge data set, but it's large enough. And we're going to take it over here and we're going to do exactly the same process so define assumption fit data and we are going to take the range over here 150 leave all the same parameters as before hit OK and it's loading the data and fitting across the various distributions. So because there are 150,000 lines, this, this could be a slightly more timely process. So we'll just let it go through. Of course, the speed of the computer that you'll be working with will have an impact on the way it does this. So now what we have is with 150,000 trials we have a gamma distribution which happens to be the distribution that was used to generate this and it triangulates perfectly. And uh, of course as we know with the more data we have the more the better the fit. So I'm going to accept that and it is put in the so we have a location of two the scale is 15 10 15 and the shape is slightly different so these are are adjustments that have happened over the fitting process and we're going to accept it so with crystal ball we were able to fit uh, a large data set so yes and it was actually quite accurate text file import yes number of fitting methods that's three method triangulation that's a yes last one um, so imagine that we fitted this distribution and we wanted to share it across the organization within crystal ball we can do this by pulling up the distribution and adding it to a gallery so we can give it a name here we're going to call it uh, uh, gamma analysis and we are going to put it in the expert opinion and we say yes and with these these are saved as files so you can put them on the network and everybody has access to them so that kind of concludes crystal ball uh, so and before we forget we'll mention that so that concludes crystal ball and next up will be model risk so if you have any questions please drop me a note at etorkia that's e-t-o-r-k-i-a at technology partners with a z dot com